Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here with my buddy Omar. Oos. Today we're going to be talking about different types of guards in Muay Thai, in kickboxing, so that you can get creative, you can find your style. So we're going to be talking about the long guard, some Dutch styles, and, uh, and everything in between. So let's take a look at the first one. All right guys, so let's talk about different types of guards, different types of stances in Muay Thai. I'm going to have my buddy Omar here helping out. been training with me for a couple months now. How's it been? How's Great. training with Shane? Amazing. There you go. All right, cool. There's my testimony. All right, so we're going to be talking about uh, the long guard first. Um, before we even get there, let's just talk about like a, a traditional Muay Thai stance. So there's there's different ways of holding your hands up, of positioning yourself, but if we're in a fight stance here, it's going to be a very structured, a very tall, a very balanced stance. So you can see my feet are pretty narrow. Omar's feet are pretty narrow. The reason being is because we want to be able to lift our legs up to check. So if Omar throws a kick, it doesn't matter which side, boom. I just want to be here because if my stance is wide, more like MMA or boxing, and I try to do it, he throws that kick, boom. It's, I'm not gonna be able to bring my leg up in time. Also, I want you to notice where my toes are facing. If my toes are facing inward, that's good for a jab, right? Because I get pressure on that foot, but now I have to lift my foot up and turn it out. Whereas if I'm in my stance and my toes are already facing out at 45 degree angles either direction, and he throws that kick, it's just a simple lifting up the leg. There's no turning, right? I don't have to rotate my hips. Okay, so that's starting from the bottom. Now, as we work up, my hips are pretty squared. They're facing him, right? My eyes are facing him, and both hip bones are facing him. Again, if I'm bladed, look what that does to my, to my leg, to my toe. So again, if my knee's facing on the inside, it's gonna be hard for me to check that leg if he's throwing low kicks, and there's a lot of low kicks in Muay Thai. So I wanna have this foot positioned outward. I wanna have my hips facing him. I wanna have my guard high. But this is where we can start to tweak things. I can, a lot of times you see this circle motion here. This is what I like doing with my hands. You can go up and out. So if I were to face the camera, up and out, forward, and then long guard is kind of just like pushing forward. And this is what we're gonna talk about the first variation of this. Long guard, long guard was, was made popular by Diesel Noy, a golden era Muay Thai fighter. Very tall, and this works for lengthy tall guys. So what they do is they have their guard out here and they like using this for hand traps to actually put the gloves on top of their knuckles to stop him from drawing punches, right? So it would probably work better if Omar demonstrated it against me since he's a taller fighter. So I want you to just kind of exaggerate your guard, Omar, and just put your palms on my hands, right? Here, yeah, and he can use this to push down on my hands and maybe follow up with a cross. Boom, yeah, something like that. He can push down to throw an elbow. Boom, he can use this to grab hold of my forearms and pull me into a knee. Boom, yeah, so the long guard here is, uh, I'm using my shoulder a lot as defense, so if I'm here and he comes around my guard and throws an overhand right, I can go here, maybe I cross block with this one, or maybe I just use my shoulder and this gate block to, to stop that from coming in here. And then from here, I can start to initiate the clinch. So again, the long guard is just as it sounds. It's staying nice and long. And you can see that there's flaws in it. You can see that there's uh, uh, maybe openings to the body or to the head, but that's kind of part of the style. You're kind of baiting them in. And that brings us to our next style, which is often used by Muay Cao fighters. And Muay Cao means knee fighter. Um, John Sinan taught me this, the wooden man. He's got a gym uh, up in like mid Northern California. Uh, I did a seminar of his and he talks about how he purposely flares his elbows out. Now if you were to see this in a boxing class, they'd say, no way, you can't do that because you're open for liver shots, you're open for punches to the body. But he does that intentionally because he wants people to throw kicks. He wants people to, to try to throw teeps to the body because he has a whole strategy in place for that. So knee fighters are close range. So what he wants to do is grab hold of limbs and get in close. So if he's standing here, he's saying, kick me in the body, kick me in the body to where he can check easy and that's gonna hurt his, his shins. You guys gotta understand that checks are used to try to stop them from throwing more kicks. I'm blocking with the upper half of my shin, which is much bigger than Omar's bones and his feet or the lower half of his shin. So if he throws a really powerful kick and I check it on here, he's not gonna wanna throw that anymore. And I feel, I feel fine, okay? The other thing is I can say, kick me in the body. Kick goes to kick me in the body, boom, and then I catch. And then from here I can start working or I can get to the inside and then be that knee fighter and then throw my elbows, clench up, and then start working the clench from there and start working my knees. Another thing that you can do too is like where you think, it may be hard to catch that teep, right? Omar threw it in slow motion. Another thing that he taught, which I really like, do that one more time, is he would block with his actual shin, boom, and he would turn it in. So it's like, knee me in the body, boom, and then he redirects with the shin itself. So again, it all comes down to your style. The next one is was made popular mostly by Raymond Deckers, which is the Dutch style boxing, uh, sort of a conversion. So it's, it's a little bit of boxing, it's a little bit of kickboxing, it's a little bit of Muay Thai, but this is when you're more boxing oriented, you're more boxing heavy, and you like to throw the hands. 
So this is when your defense is tight, you have your, everything is pretty, pretty compressed here, and this is when I really just wanna let the hands go. So let's say I power forward, and I'm ripping maybe three punch combo, four punch combo, and I finish with a low kick. This is a style that we see often in uh, America, but it, it's starting to fade out now because more people are using more of the traditional style of Muay Thai. You're seeing them more on the back foot, playing more defense, using the teeth, using longer range. So if you're kind of the shorter fighter, you like pressuring forward, you like letting the hands go, and you watch Raymond Deckers and you, you do those highlight video knockouts and that kind of thing, then maybe you have more of this cross hook, low kick coming back to a, a, a letting those hands go. So sort of like medium range and that hula hoop range, finishing with low kicks. Of course you can work the body, you can work your elbows, you can work everything else, but this is more so when you're a punch to kicker kind of person or finishing back. So we go punches, finish with a kick, and then I come right back to my punches, switch kicks, that kind of thing. So it's a lot of crosses, hooks, overhands, uh, and roundhouse kicks from that, that Dutch style. All right, guys, there you have it. So figure out what your style is. It really depends on your body type, on are you aggressive, are you defensive, what's your opponent's style as well. So you want to figure that out. You want to experiment with different things, but don't feel like you're stuck in a box. Don't feel like you have to do these exact things. You can do a blend. You can do different things for different situations. So have fun with it. Experiment and find out what your style is. Omar, thank you for coming on, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, until next time, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. Until then, I'm Shane, and this is Omar. Fight tips for the underdog. Do you want me to? I like ghosts. I like ghosts, yeah. <laughs>